What's up guys, Axis here and I'm back again with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create God Rays inside Arnold for Cinema 4D. Um, now this is first of many, hopefully, Arnold tutorials if you guys like this. Um, make sure to hit the like button so I actually know that you guys want to see more Arnold tutorials and subscribe to see more ones, etc. Um, I'm going to be showing you multiple ways of how to create uh, God Rays in Arnold for Cinema 4D. Just grab the, the demo, that's all I'm using works fine, uh, it completely, you know, um, no features are missing from it, it's just um, a watermark. So, go and peep that. Uh, and one last plug, um, there's 20% off my Octane Forest tutorial, go and check it out. Um, if you've been eyeing up the tutorial for a while and you're waiting for a discount, now's your chance to grab it. Um, if you want to learn how to use Octane, you know, go and put down your $20. Uh, for Octane VR, which is the full version of Octane, just with VR at the end, who knew? <laughs> um, so yeah, go and check it out, I'll have a link in the description for it. Um, and without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So, uh, first off, I'm going to be telling you about the superior way to do it, but I'm not going to be using this way, just in case people have older versions of Arnold, because um, it doesn't work in older versions. But basically, um, what you can do is with a, a gobo, I'm not going to be using a gobo because I personally don't prefer, uh, like I like having a physical object in the scene. But if you don't have a physical object, then what you can use is a gobo. So if you go into create, Arnold, light filter and then gobo, basically you can then um, hook up a silhouette of something. So I've got a window frame here and as you can see it's creating the rays inside that spotlight there. So if you go into your spotlight, drag it into light filters, uh, just in the whole material itself then you should get this effect. Um, and I also forgot to mention that I'm using an atmosphere in here. So if you go into create Arnold and, or is it? Volume, atmosphere, atmosphere, volume. Yeah, that's it. And then you, I've just hooked up a noise in here. It's very simple. Uh, I've just turned up the, uh, the scale, doubled the, um, I mean scaled it down. For some reason in Arnold scaling up is scaling down, it's, it's weird. Um, and then you just drag this into the environment part. But the reason I'm not using this is because you can use a sky in the newer versions, which is what I want to use. I want to use a physical sky so I can have a daylight in here. But in older versions, for some reason you can't combine the two. So um, just for compatibility sake, I'm going to be using the older version. But this is totally a viable option as well. So I'm going to open up my scene, which is this, just a very simple scene, um, just to kind of display the effect. So what we're going to do first is we're going to add a physical sky. So if we go into plugins, Cinema 4D to Arnold, damn it, and sky, and then we click play, hopefully we don't get a crash. There we've got our scene lit up here. So I'm going to change the type to physical sky. And there we've go. we go. We've already got the nice shadows going on in here. It's already looking pretty good. Um, and now I'm just going to change the coordinates because basically you can change the um, you can change the way the sky, I mean the, uh, the sun is facing by moving the coordinates, which is pretty useful. So if I go, I'm going to change this to minus 90 and 15 and we should have the entire scene filled. There's a bit, a bit, um, in fact, now 15 will be good because what I'll do is I'll change the elevation in here. So if you go into the main tab, we're going to go and change the elevation to, let's go 30-ish, because now we've got the nice stretched out shadows there, that's what I'm going for. Um, and I'm not going to uh, change this, I'm not going to try and pronounce that, but basically that's like the north offset in Octane. Um, so yeah, and for the sky, I kind of want um, a bit of a, a dimmer sky, like I want to kind of focus on the rays, so if I bring this down to about 60% grey, uh, maybe a bit higher, and then I'm also going to go and get like a peachy kind of colour for the sun. So that's looking good. I kind of want to have sort of a, a twilight kind of look just before, you know, just like maybe six o'clock or something on a summer's day, you know. I don't want it to be that um, that strong. Maybe something like that. 
Okay. And now we're going to bring in the uh, atmosphere or the equivalent of the atmosphere. Um, going to get rid of that notification. Um, the equivalent of what goes into the atmosphere here. So I'm going to change this to Cinema 4D Arnold real quick. And I'm also going to bump up some of the settings. So maybe go 5 uh, and 3 and turn transmission and uh, subsurface down because I'm not going to be using them. And then we should get a cleaner look um, just on the over overall render. Um, I'm going to go into plugins, Cinema 4D to Arnold and get Arnold Procedural. Um, now this is what we're going to be using um, to replace the uh, the atmosphere. So if I go into... Oh, this is not the right one. Huh. It's... Um, if you go here and then Arnold Volume, my bad. And you change this to Box. Um, now we can scale this up. It, I would recommend scaling up evenly. So if I'm going to scale up um, like to 40 by 40 by 40, make sure you scale it up by 40 each time. So 30 by 30 by 30, etc. Um, because if you add a uh, noise into here, it will stretch depending on the, um, the aspect ratio of this um, volume. So just make sure you... Um, you make it the correct size. So I'm going to move this back a bit. You see this line here, this is the plane where the wall stops. That's where the wall, I mean where the wall begins. So obviously we don't need something behind, um, we don't need something starting there. We just need something to fill up the peripheral vision of the camera, which we do. I'm going to go into the front view just to see, um, see that's, that's way too much than we actually need. Um, but I don't want it to, um, I don't want it to stretch. So I'm going to have it evenly on um, both the X, Y and Z axis. So as you can see, nothing is visible um, because we don't have a material in here because it's, it's really dense pretty much. So if we go into Arnold uh, volume and fog. I don't think this is the right one. Uh, Arnold's volume, standard volume. Yeah, yeah, it's standard volume. Uh, basically, I just remember it because it's got white white text, so that's how I knew it was wrong. Basically, you just drag this onto your volume like you would any material. And if we turn down our density, there's our scene back. We see our scene, but obviously we want to still have the kind of impact of this, um, of this volume. So I'm going to add a noise in here just to kind of break up the, um, the rays a bit put this in here as the density and I'm going to scale this down basically by scaling up a scale down so 16 um, that's what I've used and on uh, the depth where's the depth at so if we go into I think it's transparency 14 there we go we're seeing more we're seeing more stuff here Maybe a bit higher. Maybe if I turn down the scattering a bit. Um, nah, no, nah, the uh, anti, anti strophy. I know I shouldn't have tried to pronounce that. <sighs> right, so I'm gonna increase the um, this very slightly, not by much, by maybe to like 0 0.07 or something. And I'm gonna add some lights into the scene as well. Uh, in fact, maybe maybe increasing the intensity of the sky will, will also do it. So if we go and put this up, there we go. We're getting these rays really pushing through the um, the windows now. That's looking nice. And now just to add a bit more, some more highlights into the scene, I'm going to go and grab a light. So I'm going to grab a quad light in this case. So go and go to Cinema 4D to Arnold and quads, quad light. There it is. Rotate this scale it up and I want to have a nice little blue accent I reckon over here so um, make sure that you have where is it cast volumetric shadows and if you're getting um, grain a way to reduce it is to increase the volume samples here and another way to do it as well is to increase I mean I think it's decrease the step size because it's kind of like voxel size I think so if I was to put this down to four we should get a higher quality um, sharper, sharper rays. See if I turn it up, I wonder if it'll either crash it or it'll look bad. It's not that much of a difference, to be honest. Maybe when it starts properly sampling, you'll be able to tell a difference, but I can't really tell just while it's in 
its first stage. So I'm going to boost up the um, intensity of this light. It's pretty ugly at the moment, it's not looking good, but I'm going to go into the details and use color temperature and I'm also going to go into light and turn off show in editor so I can still see what's going on. And I'm going to turn this up, make it more of a blue, more of a colder, colder Kelvin. Don't want it to be that high, maybe like three or even lower. And that's good I think. Maybe if I bring down the skies, uh, skies light, it'll kind of be more pronounced and it'll look nicer. But that should be good. Um, obviously you guys can make fine, uh, fine uh, changes to it. So I'm going to go and add another quad light and this time I'm going to add it outside of the, the house on the left of the building, whatever this is. And I'm going to go and boost up the intensity. Even then you can't see it. Let's see where it is in relation to the scene that's on. So there we go. We've got some, we've got a little light here. I mean, maybe this could be, um, maybe this could be a street light, you know, a modern street light that isn't orange. I don't know. But I just like the way that this, um, this kind of boosts the light outside. I think it looks nice. So, move this around out here. Maybe boost up a bit more, maybe 15. I think that's looking good. I didn't really do much from here. The entire scene is just a flat white texture. There's nothing on it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you got any questions, just put them down in the comments. Make sure to leave a like. Tell me what you want to learn next and I'll try and figure it out. You know, I'm pretty new to this Arnold stuff. So I'm just kind of teaching as I learn. Make sure you go and check out that 20% off on the, uh, the tutorial. Final results and stuff that are all on the page. And I've also got a video showing you know, like what's included in the tutorial, etc. I want to kind of be more sure of what you're buying. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.